Hi, I've had the I've st I've stayed at many hotels, but I had the weirdest experience at this hotel. Hey David. What? You should probably get up. Oh shit. You have any dreams? Horrible. I had a dream I was in a in a uh, park, leaping by a lake. A person told me I was on their property to get out, or they would call the sheriff's on me. And I said, "No, cops. I'm in a hotel. No, you're on my private property." -uh. I said, "No, I'm in a hotel." And then uh, I'll show you that you're really here. You and the man really pushed here. me in, this, in, 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 in the lake. So I was wet and woke up. And then, I, I, like I was out of a very bad, bad experience, I was in someone's living room in um, Chicago. And I was laying beside this guy's wife. And I said, what the, what this motherfucker doing in my property? I said, I'm in Providence, no, Rhode Island, at a Marriott Hotel. And this guy said, no, you sleeping beside my wife in the leaving room. You don't get out, I'm going to call the police. Uh, I woke up and he closed the door and I uh, laid it in the lawn. And I go back to sleep again. And then I wake up and I'm in somebody's office. and said, this is a place of business. What are you doing? Sleeping in the office, I said, this isn't true, I can't. I'm at the Marriott Hotel. This is a place of business and you don't have a, a dental pro, uh, appointment. You have to leave, this Filipino lady said, you have to leave. You have to leave. And I went back to lay down to try to get some sleep in, 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 in their backyard. And then, as I said, you gotta take me back to the Marriott Hotel. And, you take it back to the very hot hotel and I wake up. All right, well, you got to wake up for reals now. What? You got to go. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> what do you mean? This is not a dream. This is reality. You need to get up okay. because we have to check out of the hotel in seven minutes. Okay, but that's just weird. It's weird. To be on someone's property and you're... <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. uh, we can't check in early at that guy's place. No. Could you call him and tell him what's happened to me? What's happened to you? I keep on waking up in other places. Do you want me to call the guy and tell him that? Yeah. If you think it's important that I tell him. I could come in and just lay down before we do the show. I'll see. That's weird. That's weird. Get up. Okay, this is terrible. <laughs> God, I get these farts out of me. This hotel takes people out of their rooms. It's weird. <laughs> I don't. I don't think we can blame the hotel for that. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on, but it was like an, I've never had an outer body experience like this. I've heard of East Indians and people from India having out of body experiences, but this is a new one on me. Do you have some metaphysical tunnels in this room? You need to get an exorcist for this room because I've slept at thousands of hotels and I've never had an out of, out of body experience. It's like it's got a, an underground tunnel taking people mentally, physically into other dimensions and other uh, places. And that's it's just too weird. It's just something that's from the Twilight Zone. I swear to God, this is the weirdest experience I've ever had. The weirdest experience. And I, the guy would get so angry with me. He pushed me in his in, 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 beside the lake and I went in the water. I don't, it was weird.